And welcome back to Jeff Kinnange live at the Villa Rosa Kempinski on this Politics 101 Wednesday. I got folks from Mandera, Wajir, and Garissa. The entire North Northeast is represented. But they're smart guys, brilliant guys, Kenyans who want the best for this country. Mohamed Waliye worked in Australia, Tokyo, now based in the kingdom, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, senior vice president for Riyadh Bank. In the middle, former deputy speaker, former member of parliament for Lagdera, now running for MP of Garissa Town. Can he unseat the majority leader? He says he can. Majority leader, what do you think? And of course, the Grand Mullah. Who would want to mess with the Grand Mullah? Not me. Keep tweeting. At Waliya Mohammed, at Faram Alim M, at Ahmed Asir Abdullahi, at Koinangi Jeff. The hashtag state of corruption. Uh, Grand Mullah, there's a guy over here called Mahmoud Abdul Qadir. He said, I have been blocked by the Grand Mullah. Kindly ask him to unblock me, please. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 normally when I block someone, there must be a very urgent imperative to do it. I rarely do it. Eh? <laughs> yeah, that must be a rare exception. But, but is it part of the agenda on the grand corruption or what? No, no. Ah, okay. We're switching gears. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I got a little distracted. Okay. okay. Grand corruption, gentlemen. Well, let's start with you. Is it shocking? Every week there seems to be a new scandal, a new scam. Every week, literally. I mean, this country must be Why extremely wealthy. Why not start with the on that? Let's see what the Grand Mullah has <laughs> oh, to say. Oh, you're passing the no, buck? No, 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 no. I'm waiting to hear what the Grand Mullah has to say. No, no, actually, <laughs> my, my view on this is very clear. Let's not waste time on this. We have wasted so much time on this. From 1963 up to today, we are talking about grand corruption, grand corruption, because from 1963 to now, 50-something years plus, grand corruption has been the order of the day in this country. Nothing happens. Why do you want to? Was, why don't we move on? <laughs> Legalize. Not legal. Move on because there's. I mean, if, if there's nothing to I'm be sorry, done. I'm sorry. What do you mean by move on? Arrest people? No, no. Accept it. That's basically. Uh, no, no. You see, we already accept it because we do nothing about it. Eh? If you look at. So the, it's a way of life. If, if you look at the richest Kenyans today, they are either former or current mm. top civil servants or cabinet people who are in power are the people who do corruption. The ordinary man who does his, who runs his shop or business doesn't engage in corruption. There's a correlation between corruption and working for government. So it's the people in power who have been stealing from 1963 to now. So what are you saying, Graham? And there's saying? nothing that happens to them. So, you know, the ordinary Kenyans, you know, people like you and me, let us not waste time on whether or what we should do about this yeah. because for 50 years we have done nothing about corruption. No, I think you know it has been. No, it has been. Let me finish. Did the Grand Mullah just say he's ordinary? No, no, let me finish. You know, it's part of a propaganda tool eh, to shout about corruption. <laughs> the country is bleeding. Look at the newspapers, people are stealing. But that has been happening for the last 50 years. No, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I think, I think uh, to say that uh, let's accept corruption as a way of life, that itself is corruption. So I think uh, the Grand Mullah's view itself is corruption. Uh, look, Jeff, uh, I'm a risk manager in a bank. All my life, 20 years, I've been risk management. If you look at corruption, corruption is a risk. There's something called corruption risk. You've got to have a framework on how to fight corruption. What we have now is we are focusing on the wrong places within this framework, okay? I'll give you an example, okay? We have three lines of defenses, whether it is uh, you know, a, a bank or whether it's government, you always have risk management processes embedded in everything that we do. In the first line of defense, we have preventive controls. Okay? We put preventive controls in the first line of defense, in parastatals, government institutions, this is where you put your preventive controls. Then you have areas where you have second line of defense, where you have basically the detective controls, like ESCC, uh, DCI, and then you have the judiciary, which is basically the third line of defense, okay? Now, 
where, what are we focusing on? A lot of people now, when we, we were talking about this war on corruption, everybody's saying, what is the ESEC doing? What is the judiciary doing? These are after the event institutions. They come in after corruption has taken place. But there's something called if miss now. Yes, that's why I'm, com I'm, I'm coming to that. Now, if you, ESEC can do only up to uh, certain, uh, you know, uh, they have a limit on what they can do. And they come in after the event. Now, one, 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 one minute, one minute, one minute. Now, where we need to focus on is where the preventive controls are. And in any organization, whether it is a bank, whether it is, uh, you know, KTN, whether it's anywhere, there are three things that you focus on in the front line of defense. People, processes, and systems. You cannot go and look for something else and reinvent the wheel. The key controls are people, processes, and systems. We need to get this right in the front end of the business, which is the parastatals and uh, the government bodies. Okay. So when you say ESCC, and they're supposed to be looking at, you know, two or three cases a year. Yeah. For, you know, people who are so smart, they broke the controls in the first line of defense. What happens to people in Saudi Arabia who are caught uh, stealing corruption? Well, of course, uh, you know, the, the, the repercussions are, you know... What are we talking? Big. big. Enormous. Enormous. I mean, it depends on what you've done. Are you flogged? Are you hung? Cut, are cut, you... Cut off your hand? Correct. Corruption is really bad. So, coming back to this, now, where are we getting it wrong? You know, if, if, if you leave your house open, the gate is open, you employ, uh, you know, a house help who you know is a thief, you don't have an alarm system, somebody comes and steals your stuff. And then you, bl you come out and blame the police. That's what we're doing. Basically, you're saying, what are the police doing? What is ESEC doing? Come on. ESEC is supposed to be looking at the exceptions, Hold that thought. not the rule. Hold that thought. Oh, oh, okay. I think uh, corruption, I, I, I tend to agree with the genesis of corruption in this country with Ahmed Nasir. That actually we had corruption from day one. Okay. And, and corruption started at the top. It started at the top. It is at the top even now as we talk. That's why you can't solve it. You get my point? How so? It's, look, we have a situation right now when a former cabinet minister says that the personal assistant of the deputy president has talked to Kabura 150 times within a number of days, mm. a very short span mm -hmm. of time. And even before, ordinarily, you would want to see the deputy president distancing himself from the actions of his own employee and asking the government to investigate this thing exhaustively and get to the bottom of it. What do you have? Confrontation. Not confrontation, defense. <laughs> you have somebody saying, no, don't. That two man is cut walking around with, 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 <laughs> with, with damning evidence. Don't, don't let her do that. Carry your own cross. Too many English words, you know what I mean? <laughs> Too much English. <laughs> Too much English, yes. That's the deputy president of the country. Right. And the president is sitting tight there. What are you trying to say? No, no, he's, well, look, what is silence? What's the silence in law? Green light. A crisis. Yes, yes. <laughs> A crisis. you know what I mean? Yes. 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 Uh, and, 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 and then oh, you have a president, let me just finish. Yeah. You have a president who invites a whole bunch of everybody out there to show how hard and tough and mean his government was against corruption. What does he say? Ends up saying, I can't do anything about it. No, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. Tantamount. He said, what do you want me to do? Absolutely. I've given you Absolutely. resources. I've Absolutely. given you personal. I've given you everything. What, I was there. No, 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 I was there. No, no. I, listen listen no, no, to please, Ahmed. Please. Eh? Yeah. We have wasted so much energy and resources on something that cannot be Something tempted. that cannot be addressed. Because we have no Here powers to address. As, as Farah rightly says, yes. this thing is at the top. Corruption is in government institutions, and it is the people at the top who are engaged in it. It's not me and you. Yep. Yes, I don't yeah. do corruption in the Ministry of Water, for example. I don't. You don't. He doesn't. Those guys who are there, because they are in control of the apparatus of the state, have ensured that nothing will happen to them. So, let us not sing these songs no, we have... I, I, let I me finish. Agree. Let I, me... Let us stop these songs we have been singing. Let us do something more productive like farming, looking after our cows and camels, no, no, no. doing something else. This, the state is captured. The people who have captured it are practicing That's corruption. Honest. And what yes, do we no, no, do no. with them? What do we do with them? They're the owners. They're the winyewe. 
Jeff. Mohamed. You see, uh, Ahmed Nasser can afford to say that. Because basically, you have to look at the impact of corruption. How much corruption impacts on Ahmed Nasser? And how much corruption impacts on uh, the ordinary one inch? Now, if you take that line and say, no, because I'm not corrupt, because those guys who are in power are corrupt, let it go on. Basically, what you're saying is, I don't care. But this is taxpayers' money. This is uh, government. No, no, this is public resources. So you, you cannot pray. take that line because corruption so has an impact. In this it has a very <laughs> negative impact on all of us, yeah. the economy, on uh, Wanjiku, on everybody else. So you can't basically say that. But come, going back to what I was saying before, we have to. I think the way we are fighting corruption is wrong. We have to look for new ways of fighting corruption. And we have to go back to what I was saying. We have to basically prevent, we have to look at our preventive controls. We have to prevent corruption from taking place. We have to have good systems. We have to have good processes and good people. And when you have people, processes, and systems, of the three, the most important is people. The problem in this country is we have the wrong people in the wrong places. No, no, and but, we but, put but, those... But, but, on, uh, but that is the same argument I'm making. Mm. These processes, people, and systems you are talking about, uh, the people in power will not allow it. Because so, they're, they're eating. Yes, yes, because they're in charge so, of so this. So what do we do? We accept no, no, and do move some, on. No, do something more productive. Say. Stop wasting time like on this. Then you have to give the, you have to give ideas <laughs> on what you can be done. Why not? Why not make a big arrest? Why not arrest someone? Throw them in jail? Who, will, who will allow who will you to do that? Yes, who, who, will who, will who will allow you to do that? What do you mean? Who will allow you? You're, listen, you're, you're in charge. Listen, listen, my friend. Mo Mohara listen, will Jeff. not arrest them. Mohara Jeff. will not arrest what them. What do you mean, Mohara will not arrest them? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff. The back stops with who? The CEO, who is the CEO of the country? The if president. You, if you call somebody and say, get to the bottom of that, arrest those people, sufficient information comes. Everybody knows what's happening. But you don't, we everybody have a knows what's happening. I'm telling you, the constitution does it only work when you have to do, uh, protect what you call uh, 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 criminals or grand theft or major economic crimes against the state? How come we put in, we put in six MPs in? In, 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 in prison for a whole one week so that they can, they can, you know, they can literally test it. It's because of head speech, not because they stole money. Is, you understand my point? Yes. You can get three, four big fishes and, and, and put them in there. Would you want to see uh, an arrest, uh, uh, Graham Would you want to? No, no, no. Would that change things? No, no, no. Nobody should be arrested because uh, the, it, it's not in good faith. Even if you arrest someone, Investigate. it's not in good faith. Th those are propaganda. It will take us nowhere. But I think the point really we're making is that the system, the way the Kenyan system is, the government is, there are people who own it, there are people who have configured it, and it is working for them. Of course, it's working against the interest of the majority of Kenyans. And, the, the, you know, there is no need for people to shout that corruption should be fought because no. that system, the way it has been engineered no, I, 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 look, and look, configured... Jeff, no, Jeff, Jeff, the, let me give you an example. Go on. Jeff, the so the let me give you an example. Since, uh, since around 2010, 2011, We've been having these problems of uh, exam leakages. Mm -hmm. That's corruption. You know, people buying exam yeah. papers and all that. Yeah, yeah. And everybody was basically saying, oh, it's in our DNA, this is corruption, there's nothing we can do about it. All. But look what's happening now. Somebody, and that is why we need to invest in human capacity. We need to look at the right people to do the job. Professor Magoha and, uh, and, and, and Matiangi are doing an excellent job. Two, three, two, three start, years ago, we were basically saying, there's nothing we can do. This is part of our corruption. Do. They have been allowed to they do have been no. allowed to do it. No, exactly. no, no, no. They've been given it, that free hand. Listen, listen, Noelia. You know, the problem with us is that we'll say there's a problem, and then you look about, talk about systems and talk about all those things. You don't talk about people. It's not systems that are stealing money. <laughs> it's not the computer that's, that's, that's stealing what, money. That's why I say, no, no, that's why I say, of the three, that's why I say, of the three people, on, process and system, on, people is the most important. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. We have all these issues. We have all these smoking guns. All these smoking guns. And you say, we are investigating. I wish you had watched the, uh, what's his name, uh, Magufuli. Magufuli, you know. Yes, a state house. Yes, yes. And saying, look, these are your problems. You, you get my point? And even in, 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 in Tanzania, when he's talking to his people out there, the problem, my friend, is that the people who get involved in this big haste, are untouchables. 
Are you getting my point? Mm. Not untouchable. Uh, they own the system. They own the system. That's the point. They so, own it. So that's the point. So the owners are the ones who are doing these things. The okay. Rest of, okay. Okay. Let's, let's, we can let's do. take a break. Come back. So is, is there a solution to this? Absolutely. Do we become a mafia Ab state? Absolutely. Is this narcos made in Kenya? Absolutely. There's a solution to it. There is? Yes. Get an outsider. As what? CEO. As a CEO of the country. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, 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 I don't understand. Get a Trump. <laughs> Get a Trump as a sea of the country. <laughs> Get a Trump? Are you kidding me? I am telling you the truth. Get an outsider. But who is an outsider? William Mutunga is an outsider. Let's get him from wherever he is. He's in the Maldives. Outside. He's not even a politician. No, no, but outside of what? You mean politics? Yeah, I mean, no, no, I think, I think the important point we have made today is that we have talked about corruption for the last 50 years. Yeah, we have the cows done come home and the we camels. Have, yes, we have we done have to nothing. come up with a new Let scripts. us stop this. We have to come up with a new Let, script. Even you, as you are an anchor, stop asking people this question because nothing comes out of it. Yes. Look, all the people who are named, how many of them, the big guys, the big fishes that were named by Anway Guru? How many of them were called to the CID to record statements? Zero. So you're telling me the CEO cannot call the CID and tell yes. them, go and record yes. statements from this the one? The war against corruption can be won. I can be won? Yes. Oh. I, I don't believe uh, the position Ahmed and uh, Mashimiwa have taken. Basically, uh, we, we are seeing it now. It's big now. Okay? Why is it big? There's a reason why it's, you know, a lot of people are saying, and I'm not defending uh, anybody here, but a lot of people are saying corruption is bigger than it has always been in the past. Okay, that is true. But it is because now the kind of projects we are running, you know, we have big ticket projects. Yes. We have a lot of infrastructure projects. There's a lot going on in terms of uh, people doing, uh, you know, projects here and there and resources. Billions and the bigger the cake, the bigger the GDP, the bigger corruption gets. Well, you know, Nigerian it doesn't model. mean, it doesn't the mean, Nigerian model. Yeah. during uh, Moy's time, you know, our budget was uh, three, four hundred billion. billion. Not a so, you know, 300 now billion. we have two trillion. Two trillion plus. That is why it looks big, it looks pronounced. I am not saying it should happen, but I'm telling you the reason why it's happening. One single project, SGR, is 500 billion. Mm. Now, as they say, ukikula iyo, if you now have thieves around that, you know, they'll be talking about mega stuff, and it's impacting on us. Sure. You know, uh, that's why you can see, uh, you know, people are saying the GDP is growing. We have a lot of, uh, you know, we are doing very well in terms of, uh, when you compare us to the rest of the region, in terms of growth. But still, you're talking about people having problems, we have the unemployment issues. Look at uh, the issue of Kafora. You know, 1.6 billion. 1.67. No employees, None. the company, 20 companies with and, no employees. And she withdraws 100 million shillings cash. Correct. No employees. Yet, if you look at from GDP perspective, that is registered as an economic activity because government spent that 1.6 billion. Now you, are, now you are asking the question, why is our GDP growing? Why are numbers, the trends are all looking good? But we don't feel that. You know, it's not I, still, I still think people should be in jail. No, no, but let you me, think the trail not, cannot be followed? Let, let me tell you, Kapura yes. was highlighted deliberately so that the middle class get excited about 1.6 billion yes. while billions are being stolen and nobody knows about it. Absolutely. Yes. So this one is, 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 it's for you to get excited. Red herring, red yes, herring. It's red herring. It's a red herring. Yes. No, I agree with you that it's So you're saying what, billions elsewhere? Of yes, course. yes, yes. No, no, but, Ahmed, but Ahmed, you don't I agree that. with you. Yes. No, no, I agree. Jeff, there's no, there's, no, contract, there's no contract in Kenya that there's 10 or 15 percent kickback is not given. There's no contract. Take it from me. No, no, Jeff, Akuna. I agree with Ahmed that there's corruption. Nobody can say there's no corruption. What I don't agree is this defeatist mm -hmm. you know, position yeah. that, oh, it's our it's culture, it's we can do nothing really about gentlemen, it. Gentlemen, I want to take a break, come back, and, ask, uh, uh, and, and talk about exactly what Mohammed just said. Is there a solution to all this madness? Is there? Yes. Let's talk about it after the break. Keep tweeting, at William Mohammed, at Faramalim M, at Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi, at Koinanga Jeff. The hashtag, state of corruption. Your thoughts going forward, is there a solution to all this madness. Jeff Kunange live at the Villa Rosa Kempinski takes another break. We'll be back in a moment.